Today the goal is to do 100 reps. That's my goal. I've never done 100 reps because I want to get my pull-up game a little bit better. I want them to be more fluid, a little bit faster, and less demanding on the body. And the only way to do that is to practice them and get better at them and get the body conditioned for the movement. So the most amount of pull-ups I've done in one session is 70, I think. My strategy is to split it into many sets of 8 to 12 reps. That's going to be my set for this and take as long as a break as I, I need to, but I'll, I'll shoot for maybe like two to five minute break max in between sets to really try to do this shit as fast as possible. But we want quality reps. My, my goal for this, for reps, okay, is gonna be fully extend the elbow every single rep. I'm gonna really focus on that. I might miss a few reps, like it might not fully extend like this, for example, but I really try to let my arm fully hang, basically go all the way up, fully hang all the way up. You know what I mean? So really have a deep range of motion is the goal and not kip. I sometimes I feel like I kip a little bit. I'll try not to do that and chin over bar. So a good trick to uh, get better pull-ups easier is just do a really good warm-up, a light warm-up for your lats maybe. I did some rows personally, hinged over to have a full body warm-up and really get my body pumped up and good to go to get the pull-ups done very easily and more fluidly. Because if you're cold, it's going to be so much more harder to do the movements. If you notice that red mark on my stomach, it's because I took out some fries from the oven the other day and I didn't realize the pan was as big as I remembered and I burned myself on my stomach and that's the story of that red mark. But let's talk about the breaks in between the sets. I took about two to three minute breaks in between my first two to three sets, I'd say. And then it all, it all went downhill from there. I'm like, at my fourth set, I needed at least four minute break. And my fifth set, like, it was like uh, five minutes plus. And then my very last set, I think I took seven and a half minute break in between my, my set. Because I want quality reps as well, it's it's hard to like have that mix of, okay, you want to do it fast, but you want to have quality as well. So you really got to be careful with that and just try to gauge, okay, how am I feeling? Can I do quality reps or not? Is it, are they going to be kipping pull-ups or like regular strict pull-ups? Like for here, for example, I notice my elbows don't fully extend some reps. Which is fine. Like I said at the beginning, you can't really be 100% consistent, but I really try to do my best. And next time, next I will do this challenge again. It will be better. Man, last set. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited. Man, it took me a, a long time. I've been on this for like, I think 30 to 40 minutes now, minimum. We got this. Last set, 10 reps. This is going to be 100 reps. Let's go. fun man that was really fun and difficult <laughs> but man that was fun it's fun with these challenges because you can always better them you can always have a faster time higher quality reps uh, fucking anything you want you can do chin-ups you can do super as wide as you can pull-ups narrow there's so many varieties to challenge yourself and not just doing heavy ass weight all the time it's so fun to just alternate and switch it up once in a while like this today i had a lot of fun i hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did comment down below and i'll see you next time with another video take it easy thank you for watching i'll think I'll, i don't even know what how to talk anymore <laughs> i'll see you later take it easy